Welcome to episode 10 of the Houdini VEX series. Houdini offers a large library of VEX functions, but also gives you the possibility to write your own functions. With that, you can extend Houdini's capabilities even further. Let's take a brief look at how to write and use a custom function. When we write our first function, we have to think about what it is supposed to do. Does it create geometry? Is it returning a value? When you return an integer value, your function needs the integer data type assigned. The same is for vector, float and string. If you return nothing, you can simply use void, which means no value or no type. Then add a name that you want to call your function and write all the requirement arguments in brackets. From there, you simply add parentheses and write your comments in there. Let's jump into Dini and write our first function. Let's create our first own function. We have a grid and sketch some points onto it. Like in the last point cloud videos, we want to create a get density function. So we basically say our type is a float since we want to return a float value in the end. So our function is the type float and we call it get density. It requires two inputs. One is a vector position and also a float radius. You can see that each argument is kind of separated by a semicolon. Now in these parentheses, there's everything what we want to do. So each command for our function. So now that we have this get density function with those inputs, we can use those inputs and calculate with it. So for example, we open a point cloud with the position and you can see here for the first time we have our pos attribute which was required. Also the radius in here. So the rest is just calculating, for example, getting the PC num found and you can see you can fit other functions in your own function as well. Then we create the float um, density variable um, with that value and return it. So this means now if we write add density equals and then we use our own function get density with those two inputs and this will return the density in here. For our next example we don't want to return a value but we want to create geometry. You can see that we have a few input points in here and we want to create these circles from each input point. So we write our own function called circle and now, since we don't return anything, we can use the void type, which basically means no type. Uh, it requires a vector position, a radius, and number of points per circle. Now we do all of our calculations in here. This is our command. And now I run it over the details, since I don't want to, if we run it all over our points, it will create this function for each point and then use it for each point. But we want to run it only once create the function and then we go in for each point so we create the for loop in here since that makes more sense when we have our own function um, we have then our inputs and create our circle function with these inputs and you can see that we can say the radius and maybe the number of points per circle and uh, yeah that works uh, very well 